You're with Sounds Good here on Murray State's 91.3 WKMS. I'm Austin Carter. And that was uh, my guest in the studio, actually. That was Ben Miller with a song called She Sang to Me. And Ben, welcome to Sounds Good today. Hey, hey. It's good to be here. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, that song and and about your uh, new solo album that that's on. So She Sang to Me... um was a song that uh, Sheldon Clark uh, is a songwriter in Nashville, and uh, we went down to Muscle Shoals together uh, for the sole purpose. I mean, it's right when that documentary came out on Netflix, the Muscle Shoals documentary yeah. that everybody was raving about. Um, and we were like, oh, man, we got to go down there. Like, we got to go down there and, and write songs and, and record and, uh, and, and, and you know see what we get. We got to get close to the water, man. And... Uh, we spent some time in a in like a cliffside. Sorry, keys in pocket. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we spent some time in like a cliffside B and B Airbnb, and um, I mean it was just gorgeous. It turned out I, I didn't even know we didn't know this at the time, but it was a house that they uh, Muscle Shoals Sound, the studio, used to house their artists in while they were recording at the Shoals at that studio. Huh. We had no idea. So to, to us, it was just this really nice fella um, that uh, had an Airbnb, and it was pretty, you know. Yeah. And then he told us the history, and there's all these pictures all over the walls. So we ended up writing, oh, shoot, I don't know, maybe four or five songs uh, in that little house over, the, over like two days or so. A uh, pretty productive trip. And then we went, I said, dude, we got to get down to the water. Mm-hmm. And we went down to the water, and... It was like nothing. We didn't know. <clears throat> we had nothing going on. And there were all these families that were like half camping uh-huh. um, around the area. Like they were, they were kind of fishing and like cooking hot dogs. I'm like, this is not, this is not an inspiring place to be right now. <laughs> and and all, all I had was... Um, you know... That's all I had, and Sheldon said, well, you know what? He's like, you don't have a song that's more on the bluesy side of things where like you kind of repeat some of the same phrases, and I said, okay. Um, I was like, well, what are we doing? I was like, we're, we're, we're going to lay him down. And then it just came to me, and it was just like, lay him down, down by the river. You know, and we were just sitting by the river as it was happening, uh, and the Native Americans always said that they could hear the sound, so that's when the next lyric, heard the sound, I heard the sound, and then the river, she sang to me, down by the river, I heard the sound, oh, I heard the sound, and we were like, cool, well, that's obviously first verse, and it's like, what is she saying? And it was like, Gosh, I don't know. I mean, maybe she's saying something Native American. Like, let's look in our phones and see what, what some Native American phrases. And that led to nothing. We were just like, no, 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 no. Let's keep it simple. You mm-hmm. know, so it's like, what's the water doing? Or she, what is she saying? Or she's rolling on. And that's where the chorus came from. She said, rolling, 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 roll on. She sang to me. That's where that entire song came from. Hmm. Do you think you could have written it in another place, or do you think that that the that as uninspiring as the situation may have first seemed, did it end up being the inspiration? It it actually ended up being completely fine. Yeah. You know, and and we we got the song shortly shortly thereafter. Hmm. So no, I think it was just. I mean, the two of us really really write well together. Yeah. Um, but no, I think it was it was just the moment. You know, it just we just had to wait for it to hit us and write it down yeah. and be simple about it enough to say something like roll and roll and roll and roll on 16 times throughout the rest of the yeah. song and make it sound good. Yeah, yeah. You know, which, I mean, isn't rocket science, but, you know, I mean, it, it ended up in this awesome, it's one of my favorite songs on the record.